Nobody have a testimony this morning? Amen. I just want to give thanks to the Lord this morning for life. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. I just want to say good morning to all the saints. Yes, God is good. I just want to thank him. Thank him for my life and all the other church members online and in the church and wherever you are. I just want to tell you that God is good. Don't stop praising and glorifying him because he answers prayers. And when you pray, be dedicated, um, be, be, be believing that you will receive what you have prayed for and you shall have it. I don't know. I don't. I think I can't start to tell you how good God has been to me. I have worked for two years. I have an injury in my right shoulder. It still bothers me, but it's getting better in Jesus. Trust me. I, for the last two years, I've been traveling. I travel a lot. I like to travel. When I used to be in Jamaica, I used to take my birthdays and my holidays. I just go by myself. I'm like a loner, you know. I just don't really like the crowd. But my family, um, they always like having big eats and parties and stuff. So I kind of find myself gravitating to it, you know. But I, I, I found out the last two years that I had nothing to give because I wasn't working. God made me give more than they that was working. So I know that my God is, is blessing me and he's there for me. Because I know I have no husband, no, no child alive. My son has died and I'm divorced. So I have nobody to give me anything other than my mom. And a few friends, I, especially Joyce, my darling friend, Reverend Joyce Ratchikan, and a few other people in Christ who, you know, stretch to me. But, like, you have nobody, like, providing for you. But God has provided everything, given me enough to give to others. I just want to tell you, keep blessing people and believing on God because he will come true for you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Testimony. I see you waving your finger, but you got to come up to the front. Testimony. Don't be shy. I want to say I'm grateful for today. I'm blessed. I'm alive and well. And I don't have a job, but I know something will work out. And um, you all look beautiful. Thanks for coming back. And we're going to have a good day today. Thank you all. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Short, sweet, and spicy. Amen? Amen? It's a song that goes, I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. Oh, when I wake up in the morning and I lay my Now, man, uno sound tired. Uno sound tired. They tired? I am. Every day of my life, I am. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head, I am. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you're blessed, just yell hallelujah. hallelujah. If you feel blessed, just praise the Lord. 
testimony time. Testimony time. If God done anything for you, amen, even if you're online and you have a testimony, just type it in the comment section. Our pastor is watching. Just step out the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are blessed because look on our face. We can smile. We can clap. We can jump. We can laugh. So nothing got a hold on us. Nothing. Nothing. I'm so glad to be here. Not only here in the state, but where God have taken me from to make me be here. You know, there's, there's, there's plenty would have loved to clap, would have loved to even talk, but they have to use the expression on their face to tell you how they feel, what they're going through. But we can talk, we can clap, we can shout, we can jump, we can say hallelujah, hallelujah. That's it. Yeah, that's all he requires from us, for we to acknowledge him. And that cannot be too much to give. So that's my, that's my little much so far. Thank you, Jesus. So what is hallelujah? Amen. Amen. Testimony time. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. There's just this little song that is in my heart. And I just want to share it this morning. Hallelujah. Mm. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Something about the name Jesus. Just that little part. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Say, oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Testimony. Testimony. I'll give one. <laughs> so this past Friday, we had our community um, cookout for the community. And my, my testimony is just how it felt um, so good to just be able to give back to the community. And it just felt so good to know that, you know, anything I do for, for God just makes me feel re-energized. Amen? It makes me feel like I could go a little bit further. Right? So just put your hands together for Jesus this morning. That's just my testimony was that I'm just happy to be working in the house of the Lord. Amen. Anybody else have a testimony? Any testimonies? Gone once, gone twice. <laughs> Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, this song said, I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. And this morning I'm feeling that thrill because, as, as Brother Malcolm said on Friday, you know, I had the privilege, you know, to help, to serve with um, the community. And it was a great feeling for me when um, me and we, I went with Brother Devon to the streets. And 
we were inviting people to come and have a plate, but not just have a plate of food, but just to minister to them without any shame. And it felt good. It felt so good. We, do, we didn't have to minister and to keep looking over our shoulders to say if somebody's there and say, what are these people about? I know their lifestyle and they're about here talking to people. We didn't have any shame. We were doing it with, with humility and with the love of God. And when the people came and they eat and we see the smile on their faces, it gives me that sense of peace, a sense of love, a sense of joy. And today I'm happy that I, I was a part of it. And I give God the glory. And I want to just not just to share food physically, but just to continue to share the love of God. And we should pray one for another, pray for each other's strength. So when we go there to witness to people, we don't have to look over our shoulders because we know we are in good standing with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Any more testimonies? <laughs> Going on third time. Amen. Everyone, please be on your feet. We're getting ready to enter into our divine praise and worship. I'm moving out of the way, and I'm handing over to our praise and worship leader. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Are you happy that you have made it to the beginning of another week? Mighty God. Somebody give God the highest praise in the house. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Glory to God. My God. We're just going to worship God this morning in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. For there's a race that I must run. And a victory to be won. Give me power every hour. Keep me true, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true, for there's a race that I must run, and a victory to be won, give me power every hour. Keep me true, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true, for there's a race that I must run, and a victory to be won, give me power every hour. Keep me true. I we cross over. I we cross over. My soul started to wonder. My soul started to wonder. My soul started to wonder. My son started to wonder 
my soul started to wander. Oh, I cross over. I beg you, do not doubt this man. 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 Jesus, I beg you, do not doubt this man. 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 Oh, we cross over. Oh, we cross over. My soul started to wander. My soul started to wander. My soul started to wander. I will cross over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to do this song. And in the interim, I would like uh, for, well, the offering will be collected during um, this time. We're not going to be so long this morning because we have communion. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Come on, say, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord. Shame, let not my enemies triumph over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. One more time, one more time, say. Do I lift up my soul unto thee, O Lord? Do I lift up my soul, O my God? I trust in thee. Not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. That little part, that little part. Do I unto thee, O Lord? Do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies. Triumph over me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Stretch forth your hand with a hoping heart towards your offering this morning, towards your tithes as you give and you give from your heart this morning. Those who are in we that represent us this morning, we thank you also. All members of Heshad, I pray tower this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you, mighty God. For this belongs to you also, we. And as we give, mighty God, out of what you have given to us, mighty God, we thank you. This morning, as you bless, as you touch, as you remember our house, as you remember, Lord, we in person, mighty God, how much we have mean to you and how much we have looked to you. For without you, nothing can be achieved, nothing can be granted unto us. If it's not from you, for all things made and created by you, O God, 
And we are nothing without you, Father. So as you give unto us and continue to bless us, let we not forget our sisters and brothers, neither the old soul of the, the Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning doings, and it only can done through you, Christ Jesus. By your Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen and amen. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good. Good, good, I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. Oh, I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be on your feet. I want a big hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Jesus. Your hallelujah belongs hallelujah. to him. Shout hallelujah. 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 Don't hold back nothing Hallelujah. that he deserves. Give it to him. Hallelujah. My God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Show it all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray and ask God to breathe afresh upon this element. We are about to break bread. It's first Sunday. You know, many people are still waiting to break bread at their church because they only do it once or twice a year. So I pray this morning that you be in the spirit. Let, let us connect with God this morning. Let us get plugged in. Thank you, Jesus. Be in the spirit, people of God. Stretch forth your hands towards these fellowship cups and let us ask God to bless it. Let us ask God for qualifications. The Bible said we need to examine ourselves. This is the moment when we examine ourselves. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come before you and we present this fellowship cup mighty God to you. We use it as your blood. We ask you, oh God, to breathe upon it. We use it, mighty God. This element is yours, mighty God, and we're asking you to breathe in it, breathe on it, and touch it, trouble it this morning, mighty God, that every individual that partake of it, mighty God, will benefit from it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Amen. For Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. It is such a privilege to be in the house of God. It is such an honor to be in the presence of God. He said, In his presence there is fullness of joy. My God. Glory to God. We thank you. We thank you for this moment that we are sharing, breaking bread with your people. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 
it says, I'm going to start at verse 23, it says, For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread. He took some bread. He broke bread. Hallelujah. He broke bread. It's such a... Thank you. It's such a blessing and a privilege to be here. And, and the Lord is saying it's such a blessing to have that last couple that walked in. It's a blessing for them to be here. It's their first time breaking bread with us. Somebody clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Mm. God is here. He is Hallelujah. here. I want you to lift up the bread. The Bible said the night before Jesus was betrayed, he broke bread with his disciples. He knew he was going to be betrayed, but he didn't stop. It didn't stop. Come on. You tell him to wait. Hallelujah. You know, the word of God don't lie. Jesus. I want you to raise up your bread. If you are home and you are watching us live, you can break bread with us. The last woman of God, she called and she said, Pastor, I, was, I didn't feel well. And I was watching and I break bread. While I was home and I watch and I break bread and after I break bread, I start feel better. So people of God, this thing is spiritual. I encourage you to be in the spirit. The word of God is here with us according to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Jesus picked it up. The Bible says he gave thanks. He picked it up. But I want to say something before we go into it. Some of us we seen last night. Let us pray one more time. Lord, if there's any wicked way in me, if there's anything in me, O oh God, that will come against your bread today, O oh God, we ask you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to move it. Anything in us, mighty God, that will prevent us from benefit from this communion today. We ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. We ask you to remove it from us right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything, mighty God, that will be an impediment. In our life, we are asking you to remove it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray with thanksgiving and we declare amen. The Bible said Jesus break bread. So I encourage you to break it. He said, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Go ahead and eat it. Verse 25 reminds us, it says, and in the same way he took the cup. It was a cup of wine. It says, in the same way he took the cup of wine, and after supper, he said, this cup is the new covenant. Mm. King James said, it is the new testament of my blood. And here it's telling you that this is the new covenant between God and his people. And the agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. As often as you drink it. Go ahead and drink. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap Hallelujah. For, clap like you have life. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Glory to God. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Clap for Jesus.
Hallelujah. I'm, I'm just thankful to God. Let us, let us give thanks. The songwriter said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Let us thank you. Father, we just want to thank you today because of what you have given us. You gave this to us, mighty God, and we thank you for it. We bless your holy name. You are God and you are good. This morning, Lord God, we come to you and we tell you, thank you for what you're about to do. For what you are about to do. Breathe this morning afresh. Give us a fresh start. A fresh start. A fresh start. Put us in reset. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray for a reset. A reset. A renewed mind. A renewed mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. I want to pray for you and your husband before we start. Come. Hallelujah. Jesus. I just want to pray. I just want to pray. People of God, stretch out your hands to them and let us pray for them. Remove your hands. Put your hands towards them and pray. Amen. Pray. Let ask God to lift their spirit. We come against every spiritual attack. Hey, Kataraba Kosoto. We pray against every trap of the enemy. Any plan of the enemy, we derail it right now. And we set fire to the enemy's camp. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we place this couple before your mighty God. You know them and you know what you said about them. And right now, mighty God, we are asking for the fire in this marriage to be ignited. So you can get the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're asking you to ignite their fire. Ignite their fire. Ignite their fire. Ignite their fire, oh God. We're asking your mighty God to ignite their fire and let your will be done. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the, out the enemy had planned, mighty God, we come against it right now and we stop it. We chop every on Jesus. We chop off every plan. We chop off whatever the enemy is doing. In the name of Jesus, we chop it off right now. My God, my God, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every plan of the enemy, we come up against it. Hallelujah. Jesus. You see, as I'm here and we're praying, the Spirit of the Lord is saying that the devil asks you, where you gone over the church in a, in a heart for God prayer? The devil attack you because you come over here and your prayer, it's, hey, Jesus, but today we pray, am I lying? The enemy is mad at her because she came here to pray. And this is showing you the kind of warfare that you have that you didn't know about. The enemy don't want you to go ahead in your ministry. Jesus, but today we put a stop to it. We put a stop. We are assigning angels to your house right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree and we declare by the raising of this sword, it will be well with your ministry. It will be well with Jesus, 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 my God, we come up against that attack, against marriage, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, my brother, it is well, 
it is well. You see, none of you did anything wrong. The problem, there is a problem, but the problem is because she came here and pray. You see how the devil wicked? Your mother came here and pray. And the devil began to attack her. And attack her marriage. And attack her home. But today, you see, you didn't tell me this. I, I sat there and I was texting her earlier. And the first text didn't go through. And then it went through after I sent the te second text. And the Lord said, she's coming. Clap for Jesus. It will be well. It will be well. The devil is mad. Because this is why your ministry have been stagnant. To find a place where God wants you to be to grow. It's difficult. And when God directed you here, it took you so long to come. And now you come. Now you see what's going on. But I'm here to tell the truth, God. Somebody clap for Jesus. You can take your seat. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, if we come with a mindset to church, what we are going to do, it's not going to happen. We have to come to church with a mindset to allow the Lord to lead us. I think I... Yes. Hallelujah. Allow the Lord to lead us. I want everyone to pray for me before I start to preach. My sermon is short. Pastor. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody clap for Pastor Clive. <laughs> I want to say something that the Lord dropped in my spirit when I was talking to you guys in the hallway. Your season is coming. You have to wait. I don't know what you and your wife discuss at home concerning El Shaddai, but the Lord said, wait. Amen? You can't do nothing for him. You feel me, Shad? <laughs> I don't want to be tall. I don't ever want to be tall, because if I get tall at this age, I'll be a handicap. Am I lying? Because I was born this way. You can't change nothing. God will do it for him. Just do what you have to do. All right? The Lord used me to speak to you in parables the last time you were here and you didn't understand. And I'm not going to tell you what it means. You need to go into the spirit. The Lord said you need to take your position. And I'm not going to say anything else. Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Clap for Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord because he's good. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. It means that when you're serving, you're supposed to be glad. He said, come into his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he who have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. We are sheep of his pastors. The Bible says, enter into his gates. Enter into his gates. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with your praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth. Endure it to all generations. It means that God is for all of us. Even the madman on the street. My God, I want to tell somebody, last week, Friday, I was here. I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to help Sister Rose. I'm not going to help Sister Julie. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to sit down. You can take your seat, people of God. I'm, I said, I'm going to sit down. And when I sit down, I start to watch and I mock them. I mowed them. I tested them. Yes, I did. I said, um, this young man over here said, 
who I'm not going to call his name, said, so are you going to share the food? I said, no. He said, who's going to share the food? I said, I am not touching anything. This is a community cookout. It is for the church. It is the responsibility of the church. I'm not the... Are you teasing or are you mocking me? <laughs> I said, I'm not going to do anything. And so they showed up. Sister Pat said, so me cannot cut onion. Somebody asked Minister Nikki to cut onion. Sister Pat said, so me, me. I said, look at that. So you see, I said, yes, let me observe. Minister Nikki came and he always in a hurry she leaves. Did her little portion and leave. And Sister Pat took over. And when the right time came, as I sat out there watching everything, the angel of the Lord came and said, it's time for us to get out of the building. Sister Dion was helping. I said, we have to go. She said, Pastor, let me rest. I said, no. It's time to go outside. So Brother Devon come. Yeah, because AC turn on. <laughs> it's nice and cool. <laughs> so we got to go outside. And I begin to get angry in the spirit. So I know this was God taking us out to use us. By this time, Minister Lorraine and Brother Devon already touched the road to do evangelism. So the cookout was not just something that people came. Nobody came in here and said, don't I eat anything. It was a way to evangelize to people on the street. And I sat out there on a chair and I was just watching. And I began to make a video. And when one of the homeless men came and he began to talk, I got convicted and I have to cut the video. Yes. God was pleased. But most of all, Sister Lorraine came. You know, she's she not, she not tall. She go, Pastor, I feel good. I said, yes. This, I didn't call it. I said, this is what God wanted from us. For her to evangelize. So this is not bring some food. Come next time, Minister Nikki, it's not just bring some food. Come and leave. You, I know, but God work have to get done. Amen? So this is the part where Sister Dorothy came. I don't know what happened, but she just jumped up and started carry on. I'm like, look at that. It was caught on Facebook. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I, just, I was just cracking up the phone, and I'm like, God, I thank you. You hear me? And then I said, it's time for people to evangelize to these people. The word said, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> I remember when I was going to church in East Hartford. Every Saturday I used to have to evangelize. And I used to have to walk around and minister to even gay people. Just, just, just take a mental picture of that. You go to the park and you're ministering to them and they say, you don't see who you're talking to? And they know the word of God. It was very annoying for me. And it caused me and pastor to get into a big fight. Because when he said, Joyce, how was it? Do you think I said, like, Sister Lorraine, I feel good? No. No. I said, Pastor, my foot has hurt me. And he said, Joyce, and that's discouraging because you're a pastor. I said, me no care. You see, I, I was not there yet. I was not mature. And I'm here to say, you guys are getting good teachings because no one taught me that I was not supposed to complain while I'm doing evangelism work. They didn't have anything to give anybody. They just said every Saturday we go minister to people on the street. Just like that. So that was hardcore. 
That was hardcore. You guys just went down there. They give us the entire East Hartford. Not even a bottle of water. But you know what God did? He showed up and these people begin to come. And they came with the flyer from the church. So we're going to need more flyer. Minister Nikki, I don't know if we have to sign a contract or something, but we're going to need flyer. They gave out a lot of flyer. And these people came. They didn't just come for the food. Some said, I just take water. <laughs> yes, that means they came from Farmington Avenue. And, and they walked all the way down to the church just to see where the church is located. So I want everyone to be on their feet and let us pray. We're going to have to do this again. We're going to pray. But first, I want you to stretch your hands towards me and ask God to put the right words on my lips so I don't speak from my flesh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ask God to bless the word that will come today. Ask God to use me to his glory. Ask God that my foot won't slip. Ask God that I speak the way he give it to me without any sugar coating. Ask God, my God, my God, my God. Today we come before you and I ask you in the name of Jesus. Use me to talk to your people, oh God. Bless the word, oh God, that will come forth so it can be a blessing. Let it be well with your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ask God to bless my vocal cord this morning so I won't stumble over anything that you have me to say. Lord, whatever you are doing in this season, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, 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 my God. Jesus, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mandarabako satarabako saya. Rada Pastor Malcolm, switch place with Minister Nikki. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well. We pray that those of you that are here will be in the spirit to receive what the Lord has said. You can take your seat. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am so glad that Jesus loved me. Yes, even me. Even me, Lord. Even me, Lord. Let some fall on me. Even me, Lord. Even me, Lord. Let some drops now. Fall on me. Sister Yvonne, do you have a song for us? Yes, I'm asking a question. I'm not laughing. You cannot come all the way here and don't have a song. You, 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 I know you were singing on your way here. Jesus. Sing that song. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. Come. Jesus. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God. I face the mountain. I face the mountain. Hey, Jesus. That I've never faced before. 
That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I face a mountain that I've never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord Jesus. I know it's been a while, but Lord, please hear my cry. I need you like I never have before. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Jesus. Hey! Sometimes a troubled sea. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. Forgive me, Jesus. I thought I could control whatever life may throw my way. But this I would admit that brought me to my knees. I need you, Lord, and I'm not ashamed to say sometimes it takes a mountain sometimes a troubled sea sometimes it takes a day Get a hold of me. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. The Bible said, Blessed are the broken hearted. God wants us to come to Him broken. If you come up here and you know what you're doing, take your seat. That's the type of anointing that is upon this ministry. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Mighty God, people up in the mountain pray. God is breaking some chains. Some chains that are being broken right now. Oh, by Yale Bebe, Kesete Rebe, Kosata, Kashate, Bababa, Kosoto. Jesus. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ay, 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 
Through it all, I've learned, I've learned to, to trust, trust in, in Jesus. Jesus. And I've, I've learned, learned to trust, trust in God. God. Hey! Through it all. Mighty God, I am a Torobo Rakandala Bako Setea. Jesus. 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 Hey! I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've, I've learned, learned to trust in God. Hey! Through it all. Mighty God. Through it all. I've learned, I've learned to, to depend, depend upon His word. Today make one year since we are in this building. Hallelujah. Today makes it a year. The first Sunday of September 2023, we entered this room. We had our first service. Our first Sunday service. Because I think we came in, I think it was the weekend before, and we, yeah, the, 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 during the week we came and we prayed. So let us thank God for how far we came. It's a year anniversary. Clap for Jesus. Mighty God. Glory to God. You can take your seat. You know, today's message is, do you love Jesus? Minister Nikki, today's message, do you love Jesus? Let us celebrate Jesus. Let us just celebrate him. The one who has kept us this far. Let us, let us just wave. Ju let us just give a little wave offering. A wave offering and just wave because it's a year. Let us just celebrate Jesus. Let us show our love. Let us magnify him. It's one year since we are in this room. And this is our mighty God. This is our offering. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are here. Mamba de we are here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said there is nothing that can be compared unto him. He who is faithful, my God, my God, my King. He who is, mm, he who is holy. He who is righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. If you want to stand up, stand next to your wife. Come, join your wife. When they're watching and they're looking at you, leaning on the wall, they wonder if we don't have a seat for you. So stand next to your wife. Yes, they're asking me if the, uh, 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 yes, if, come, you sing, I don't have a chair. That's why you're standing next to your wife. That's her position. <laughs> right, join her in, somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Up for Jesus. May, may the Lord use both of you the way you guys prayed at home. <laughs> I see them in the spirit. <laughs> I, I see them in the spirit, not trying to be funny, but they have their own ministry at home. I see them. I see them. <laughs> they are doing their own thing. May the Lord do it for you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So open your Bible. Bible? Bible. Your Bible. Get your Bible. Philippians chapter 4. This message is short. I think I only go to verse 13. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4. I'm going to start at verse. You want to read for me? Yes. Get your Bible. Your Bible. Hallelujah. I know you guys don't read at home together. You read your own Bible. S I know. <laughs> Get your Bible. Yes, so you can personalize it. Have your pen so you can underline and scribble whatever you want to scribble in it. It's yours. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Yes, Philippians chapter 4. It comes right after, I think, Ephesians. Yes. Comes right after Ephesians. And if you're past Colossians, you went too far. So it's between, between Ephesians and Colossians. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for those people that are watching on Facebook. Clap for them. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Clap for those that are on Instagram. Clap for them. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday to all. Glory to God. Go ahead. You found it? Start at verse 1. Starting at verse 1. Philippians chapter 4, verse 1. And it reads thus. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech... It uh, a dias and besieged. I don't know it bad, which bab you're reading, so keep going. I besieged Sintesh, if I'm saying that Where right. Where are you? Verse 2. Verse 2. Sintesh, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. Verse 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Verse 4, rejoice in the Lord all, always, and again I say rejoice. Verse 5, let your moderation be known unto all men, the Lord is at hand. Verse 6, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Verse 7, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Verse 9, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. You're going to verse 13. Verse 10, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Verse 11, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Verse 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. Verse 13, and last, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Amen. And there hand in the reading of the word of God. Hallelujah. So, yes, clap for Jesus. Don't, don't hesitate to clap. That's your offering. It says, there is a closing appeal for steadfastness and unity in the church. Paul said, stand fast in the Lord. My dearly beloved, he said, help those women since they have contended by my side with the gospel. It means that we have to look out for the people who work in the church. Paul wrote a letter for people to be reminded that there were two specific women Two specific women with fancy name. One was Uodiah and the other one was Sintish. So here Paul is saying, they struggle with me. They face danger. Remember I was talking about evangelism, how I have to minister to all kind of people all over walking around on the street. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was doing because that Sunday, some of those people came to church. When Minister Lorraine said, ah, it feels so good. I'm like, God, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I'm not lying. I was not expecting that. 
what I'm looking for was some negatives. Because the, not everybody was receptive. Everyone will not be receptive of the word of God. Not everyone. Some people will ignore you. Some people will want to fight you. There was one that was complimenting the food, but on the other hand, he said, I am a Muslim and I'm something else, and I'm African. And when I begin to speak, him, he said, no, I was born in Haiti. But one day I want to go to Africa. I said, oh, you will go. Keep believing. So I'm here to let you know there are all kinds of people out there in the world, and evangelism is not fun. If I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get any feedback from Brother Devon. So I guess on his part, it was good. But Pastor Malcolm said there was a woman, and she had her drugs in her hand. And she, what she did, she put it where? In her socks. Because she don't need the drugs right now. She's coming to get some food. So you see, God finds different ways of pulling people close to him. You see? We don't know the outcome of anything. But when the Spirit of the Lord said it's time to go outside, he wanted me to see what he was doing. So Paul is telling us here, these women, they struggle. And they faced danger. And they had to defend the gospel. They faced issues. Because Paul had a reputation. Everybody knew who he was. He was an old gangster. Old murderer. I don't want no fake people around me. And I'm going to tell you why. Everybody had a past. And you cannot change if you're in denial. Ah. You have to stop doing the old foolishness in order to change. You have to repent. Paul changed. God changed him. And it was drastic. <laughs> God had to blind this man. So this is why Paul had that zeal. And I'm about to say something real stupid. If you read about Peter and you read about Paul, Peter talked a lot. So when it was time for him to write, there is not much notes from Peter because Peter was a chatterbox but Paul was an introvert he had everything inside of him this is why he had all these letters that was the difference with the ministry there were places where Peter could go and minister and Paul couldn't go there there were places that Paul ministered that Peter could not show up and as I was sharing this information on Friday Paul and Silas experienced their miracle while they were in prison, naked. The Bible said they beat them and stripped them. That means they were naked and bust them up. And during the midnight hour, you see, when you know God, you know how to go to God. The Bible said in the midnight hour. Hour oh, when everybody was sleeping, they got up and they began to tear down the place with prayer. The Bible tells us that the shackles were broken, chains uh, that were attached to woods that attached to their feet uh, were loose, the jail door was open. I'm here to tell somebody it's time for you to get up and pray. People wanted to commit suicide, but I came to tell somebody today, Paul and Silas did not get locked up because of what they did. That man, the guard, the guards, the prisoners, they needed to hear about Jesus. So Paul went to prison because the guard had to be saved. So if you get in a little trouble and go to jail, don't worry about it because Jesus went to jail. Tell somebody, don't worry about it. Paul was in prison, but his presence brought souls to the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter what situation you're faced with, God will use it to bless others. My God, when I had the revelation, Paul was really in prison for the, 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 the prison guard to be saved. Because when the shackles were broken, that man wanted to cut his throat. He wanted to commit suicide. Paul said, no, we are seeing at the dark. Because the whole place was dark. It's night time. So you see the spirit of God. 
the light that they had. They were able to see that man in the dark. You see, that his assignment was, it came with stipulation because any man escaped the water dead. So he tried to commit suicide because he didn't want them to kill him. He was ashamed. First of all, jail door open. Prisoner free. All of the prisoners, them door who open. And he said, no, we are still here. We didn't escape. So sometimes you see some turbulence taking place in your life. It's for the person right next to you. It's not for you. It's for the person. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> Paul had all these experiences according to the word of God. No, he's still talking. Because then the world knew about his reputation. He claimed that they were faithfully helping him in ministry. So he was asking for help for these people. People of God, let me tell you something. We, including myself, we need to do better for the Lord. We do. We need to do more. When I, when I saw what happened here Friday, we can do better. We can do more. It's not about the food. And before I even go any further, I just want to thank God for everyone that stretched forth their hands to donate towards that cause. <laughs> we need to do more. I'm grateful that I'm a part of it. And I get to see the vision that God gave me. It came to pass. But all I said, we have to do this again. We have to do it again. People were going off on social media when they see it. There's a woman that followed me. She has never, ever messaged me before. Never. She followed me. She came on my platform once, and I, the Lord used me to spoke to her. And she reached out to me this morning. I know. It's because of what we're doing. We are now getting personal with God. So we, we give God praise for what he did and what he is getting ready to do in Hartford. Amen? This is Hartford. It is the capital of Connecticut. And the demons here are not play, play demons. So we have to pray. And the reason why people join this ministry and get attacked is because of the anointing that is upon the ministry and where God is taking us. So if you come here and don't get attacked, we have to be afraid of you. It's true. If you're coming to this ministry and you're not under attack, I'm afraid of you. Because it's a deliverance ministry. So don't, don't be ashamed to testify. We need to know what to pray for. This is why we have testimony. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go down to verse 6 in the book of Philippians. It says, Philippians chapter 4, it says, Don't be anxious for anything. Pray and wait, and you will have peace. There is virtue in waiting. And this is where your peace and your patience will be built. It builds your patience. Verse 9 reminds us, it says, every good student take notes. I know some people don't care about writing down anything because they already know that already. But I'm here to tell you, it makes you a great scholar when you take notes. It might sound funny, but every time I enter a church, I open my notebook and I take notes. Every time I visit a place of worship and there is Bible study, I take notes. Because everyone gets different revelation. So it's very important, if you really want to go deeper in God, take notes. Amen? Yeah. Write stuff down. Hallelujah. Open your Bible to the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. You could be in the midst of Bible study and you're reading the word of God and immediately God open up, give you an open vision. Here the word is telling us. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2 to 3. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. And make it plain upon tables. 
that he may run that readeth it. Have you ever written anything down like many years ago and you go back and read it? You cannot believe that was your handwriting or that was what's going on in your head at that time. Here he said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it may tarry, wait, wait, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Whatever God said about you, it shall come to pass. Write things down. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Verse 11, it's telling us that be contented with whatsoever you have. Whether large or small, we are in the book. No, we are in the book of Philippians chapter 4. Be contented with whatever God blessed you with. Don't be jealous or envious of anything that anyone has. You don't know where they get it from. The other day, I remember, I don't know, it came to me. There was a man many years ago that was a pastor going around and preaching and performing miracles. And uh, while he was praying for people and doing ministration, somebody said to him, I want to be just like you. He said, you sure? The guy said, yes, because your ministry is big and you have a lot of people and everything. The man said, are you sure? He said, yes. The gentleman said, take off my hat. And when he took off the pastor's hat, worm was eating at his brain. He said, you want to be like me? This is my sickness. So we have to be careful how we try to be like others. The man head top filled with sewer. But he was working for the Lord. There was purpose on his life. Glory to God. This morning we were talking about if you really love God, you've got to be obedient. In order to benefit from the love of God. Because disobedience is worse than witchcraft. Some people are going through a hard time and they're blaming witchcraft. But it's not witchcraft that's fighting them. It's their disobedient spirit. They are wrestling with it. Hallelujah. So here, according to verse 13, it says, You can do all things to Christ who give you strength. Your destiny is greater than your history. Where you are going is greater than where you're coming from. All your problems have expiration date. Many of your problems, they may seem that they are lasting, but they are not for everlasting. Your, oh, your problems are not everlasting, whatever you're going through. Troubles don't last always. It's not, your problem is not permanent because your blessing is permanent. And the word of God said you can do all things to Christ who give you strength. I came to tell you today, there's a song that's here. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go, I want the... Jesus Christ never failed me yet. You see, Abraham had a problem. He had a big problem. He was from a family that was not blessed. And in order for God to bless Abraham, God allowed his father to die. And after Abraham's father died, then God began to speak to him. You see, men... <laughs> the Bible said... God tell Abraham, pack up and leave. Know that your father died, you don't have no reason to stay here. I'm going to bless you. So God will choose one out of every family 
to be a blessing. Not only to be blessed. So I want you to stand on your feet because we're going to pray. Glory to God. Yeah, we're going to pray. The Bible said God called Abraham out of his family. But when God called him, it was after his father died. Lot was with him. Lot had to leave before Abraham could see. You see, sometimes whatever God said, if we feel like it's not going to happen because of what we're going through. But I'm here to tell you, God doesn't lie. He's not a man. Neither the son of man to repent. The Bible reminds us, behold, I received commandment to bless you and I have blessed you and it cannot be reversed. Glory to God. My brother, as I'm standing here, I'm looking at you with the long hair. Sir, when you walked in, you walked in with grace. The Lord said he has blessed you, but if you're not careful in the end, the devil will rob you. If, you're not, if, you, if at any point you don't serve God, the devil will use you. They will use you to do things that will destroy you. So you have those two roads before you. Pray. Because whatever God places upon you, if you're not careful, the devil will deal with your wicked. You will never make it to heaven if you're not careful. Don't entertain anything that don't glorify God. Amen? Watch what God will do for you. Glory be to God. Today we're going to pray against curses. It means that the family that Abraham was in was not a blessed family. Because even when he brought Lot with him, Lot was fighting against him. That's the curse active and continue. So today, you see, many of us, we try to bring people among us that we are related to, but it's a problem. It's a problem. Because they were not delivered from the curse. David said, I was born in sin and shaping in iniquity. So none of us are perfect, but we need to understand what God is doing. God separated him from the rest of the family after the daddy died. So sometimes I'm here to tell her, when our, when our parents die, now we will look to our heavenly father. I guess Abraham was a family man. Yes, he was very close, tight-knitted with family. But when his father died, God began to give him instructions. And he was, in, he was obedient, but not all the way because he brought baggage. Because that nearly killed him. Amen? So let us pray. Today we pray and we break every generational curse in the name from among us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, Father, we come before you and we ask you today in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every generational curse. Mighty God, Abraham had a problem, but he didn't know he had a problem. When his father died, you move him. And after you move him, he was still struggling. Today, mighty God, we pray that our struggles will be over. Mako rabababako sakataya. We pray and we break it. We pray and we break that curse from those that are among us. Some people are among us and they are harboring generational curses because they were not delivered. They have not prayed certain prayer. So today we open our mouth and we declare that curse, that generational curse has to be broken. And today we break it. We break it. We break it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And here I have to tell you that it didn't just stop there. He also waited. God, God could not bless Abraham, even though Abraham brought his nephew. You see, even though you, you're, you're carrying someone on your arm, you, you're trying to help them, a relative, but God cannot bless you while you're with them because it's spiritual. God had to move a lot. 
So today we pray that every lot that is in our life, uh, he have to go. Open your mouth and pray. Every lot uh, that is in your life, uh, every, every relative uh, that may, uh, every lot uh, that is around you have to go by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every lot, uh, we move you right now. Every lot that's in our life, uh, we move you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every lot that is among us. We move you right now. We move you right now. We move you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We decree and we declare it done. My God. God had to move Lot in order to bless Abraham. And that was his brother's son. That's a shame. It's a shame. Glory to God. You see, some people have to go before your blessing comes. Have you ever left a group of people and when they see you again, you have big testimony. You have big testimony. You left a lot of people. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you, <laughs> you shut out a lot of people. And you stay in the ministry. You did not shut out one person. It's a lot. Somebody say a lot. A lot, a lot of people. And you don't even talk about it. I don't know why you're afraid to testify. If God is using this ministry to bless you, we need to know because we need to know that we are next in line. Can somebody agree with me? <laughs> Can somebody agree with me? Beca can somebody agree with me? If she did not leave these people behind, she would not be standing next to me. Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. And I rest my case. Somebody say, rest your case. Amen. So those people had to leave before the blessing comes. Because there wouldn't be any peace in the church. <laughs> so today we're going to pray that God will move those who don't belong in our life that are stubborn. Sometimes we leave them, but they find they create different Facebook page, different Instagram, different everything just to just to monitor you. Sometimes it could be an ex that is monitoring you. And they use even their family. Oh God, Baba Kosaya. They use even their family to monitor you. Make sure you don't go anywhere. So today we pray. That those who God don't want among us have to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many of you, that is what God is waiting on for you to really pray some prayers so the angel of the Lord can show up. The Bible said when Jesus was in the wilderness for those 40 days and it was after he rebuked Satan as a get bear. Jesus had a dialogue with Satan. Satan argued with him the whole time. And it was when Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. The moment you say get behind me, mean you're done. He draw him out of character. He said, get behind me, Satan. And that's when angels came and minister unto him. So there are some people you have to rebuke today in the spirit. You have to rebuke some people in the spirit. Some people, some ex, where you think they are next. No, they are not next. Get rid of your baggage. Get rid of your baggage. If you are still talking to your old in-laws, it means that they have the monitoring spirit to bring back the news. You have to get... If you find that you're still connected with the in-law from the old family that you used to be in, it means that you're not free. Let them go. In order to move on, you have to drop your baggage. They are Today we will pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask you, Lord God, to move those monetary spirits. Remove those monetary spirits. Remove those monetary spirits. We ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some of you, you move on, but the monetary spirit is still there. We bind, blind every monetary spirit. They will never find you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against every monetary spirit. They will never find you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every plan of the enemy, mighty God, that was set out to monitor you. In the name of Jesus, we blind them right now. We blind them right now by the blood by the blood of Jesus Christ every monetary spirit we ask you now mighty God remove them remove every monetary spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth remove them there are some people they come and even though you move on they send your cousin that you like the auntie that you like to monitor you to find out where you are. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we finish it. We destroy that relationship. We destroy that relationship. You see, God kept Abraham close because he was chosen. Now, after he brought Lot, God moved Lot. God ready to bless him. Before God even bless him, Sarah said to Abraham, I cannot get pregnant, so sleep with the maid. And that become a bigger problem. So you see, when your blessing is on its way, all type of stuff show up. So, Ishmael was a burden. And God had to take out Ishmael out of the picture. Because that's not what God wanted. God did not despise Ishmael. God blessed Ishmael. Bless Ishmael. The other day I was reading an article where somebody said, everybody you can stay there, watch what's going on in Iran and Iraq. It starts with Abraham. Because Abraham of Ishmael and Isaac one a Christian, one a Muslim. Hey, somebody clap for the Bible. The war that's going on in Iraq, nobody cannot stop it. Only God. So we need to change our prayer point. Let God deal with that. It's not our battle to fight. No one in here prayer can see Iraq from Iran or from Russia. No. It started in the beginning of the Bible. The man sleep with the wrong woman. And until this day, they are fighting over power. Jesus. She, where is Abraham? Gone. I can't wait to meet him because I presume, I don't know why, but I just feel like Abraham is a tall, dark, handsome man. Hey! The Bible never describes Abraham. The Bible describes Sarah. But in my opinion, I think Abraham is tall and slim. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody clap. Clap. Ay, 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 ay. So now, we will pray. Because after God removed Lot, clean up Abraham, get ready to bless him, Boom. The devil began to speak to his wife and said, I'm old and our maid is young. Let us use her to give us a child. And that became a burden. He came to preach. Give him the mic. And that became a burden. So here, the mistake that he made was listening to his wife about that. You see, when he listened to his wife and did that, he decided not to listen to her again and he went to God. God said, go back and listen to your wife. A man need to listen, Brother Devon. Brother Clive. Brother Malcolm. Sir? 
sir, look at me. A man need to listen. Sir, a man need to listen. Sir, a man need to listen. Sir, a man need to listen to his wife. Hear me? God placed something in your wife that you need. That's why he joined you with your wife. That's why when people marry to the wrong person, they have problem. Hello, somebody. If Brother Devon ever opened his mouth in here today. <laughs> Somebody clap for Brother Devon. <laughs> 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 Glory to God. He, get, he, 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 he got the memo. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. So we have one last prayer point before we go. See? I'm, 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 I'm on, I'm, am I on time? I am on time. You don't stay on this mic past half hour. We're going to take it from you because he's waiting. He's waiting on the mic. So now, after he made that mistake, listen to his wife. He went back to God in prayer. God said, go back and listen to your wife. You listen to her the first time, go back again and listen to her. She's your wife. And you see, Adam blamed God when he messed up. God said, what happened? He said, the woman that you give me. So ever since then, God said, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. So God stopped giving woman to man a long time. So any man waiting for God to give him a wife, you need to go out there and go hunt. And God will bless the marriage. And the woman have to be waiting on the man. Submit to her husband. Ladies, don't go search for no man. Right, Brother Clive? I didn't understand that. No, only the man have to search. He that find it. He that find, mean that the man who finds a wife, find it a good thing. So you search and you find your wife. She couldn't search for you. Because if she, did you search for him, ma'am? Okay, thank you. He's telling a lie. He's lying on you. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> He found the woman all the way in, in, in Jamaica. He went all the way in Jamaica and found this woman. God bless your marriage. So here the word is telling us that God will take care of our mistakes when we mess up. So let us go to God right now. We all mess up. So let us go to God right now. God, God took care of business when, when, when Abraham messed up. So he said, Isaac is, um, Isaac is coming. Don't worry about Ishmael. So we're going to pray to God and thank him to fix us. Thank him to fix it for us. Whatever mistakes that we have made, God is cleaning it up right now as we speak. Open him out and let us pray. Father, we come to you right now. We ask you all our mistakes that we have made, Lord God. We are asking you to fix it for us. Fix it, oh God. Fix our mistakes in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you, we ask you, oh God, to fix our mistakes. Fix our mistakes, mighty God. The word of God reminds us that we all fall short of your glory. But today we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to fix our mistakes. To fix our mistakes. Let it be well with us as you fix our mistakes. Let it be well with us as you fix our mistakes. Fix our mistakes, oh God. We fall short of your glory. But today we come and we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, help us with our mistakes, oh God. Clear our path. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil, oh God. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen. And we call our announcer right now. <laughs> Glory to God. If you came to church late today, um, Brother Devon is just going to go around and uh, collect your offering.
if you came late. And next week, be on time. Amen? Amen. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end therefore thereof are the way the ways of death. People of God do what do that which is right in the sight of God. Amen. Welcome to El Shaddai prayer. If you are here and looking for a church home, please don't hesitate to let us know. For all first-time and second-time visitors, please stand and tell us your name and who invited you. Church begins at 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Our community cookout that was Friday, August 30th on the church grounds, which was a blessing to the community. Blessing. Blessing? Yeah. yeah. Who invited you or brought you? Grandma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our community cookout that was Friday, August 30th on the church grounds, which was a blessing to the community. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Our seven days of fasting begins September 15th to the 21st. No added sugar. Please prepare for it. We are fasting for breakthroughs. Our prayer meeting slash Bible study is every other Friday starting at 6 p.m. The phone number is 860-634-8557. You can use Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. Or you can also write a check in El Shaddai. Thank you all for visiting us today. Don't forget to order your prayer shawls and anointing oils and El Shaddai t-shirts. Thank you all for visiting with us. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> we're getting ready to close, but we have an announcement, so I guess they were not prepared. Did anyone, were anyone here blessed today? Because I, I, I started to sweat. Sister Gracia, how are you? Waiting on you with that good news. Right, Sister Denise? Brother Clive, I know you all helped them work on it. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> Hallelujah.
somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, today I want to give a big shout out to one of my favorite um, ladies in the church. Amen. Yes. <laughs> um, I've watched her week after week. Um, she's very committed. She's loving, she's caring, and she's always on time. Amen? Guys, if you don't mind, I want you to stand and give a round of applause and a have shout out a happy birthday for a sister, Julie. Amen. <laughs> Come on up, Sister Julie. Come on up. Come on up. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Song. Sing the song, brother. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Sister Juju. <laughs> thank you, Brother Ken, thank you. On behalf of our El Shaddai and our pastor, Reverend Joycelyn Rattigan, we want to thank you and we appreciate all the things you do. We see you. Amen? Amen. Happy birthday. <laughs> and we're going to celebrate. We're going to help her cut her cake. Amen? After church. All right. Glory to God. Let us thank God for her life. She's faithful to the ministry. Every morning that I'm here in church, she's here at the same time. But you know what's funny? Last night she called me after seven. <laughs> after nine. I finished iron my dress. I'm ready for church. <laughs> I, said, I, I said something slick in my heart. I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> But may the Lord bless you, you know. It is well. Everyone wants to be celebrated on their birthday. And people of God, I encourage you to continue to be a blessing to the birthday club so we can bless people. It's not going in my pocket. I'm not the one that didn't collect this money. But I encourage you. This month I had to step up because people didn't want to do it. Nobody wanted to. A few people step in, but guess what? You're blessed. Amen? You're blessed for the work that you are doing for the Lord. I don't know if one day God will use you to bless me, but I'm, I want to bless you. Amen. And I'm praying that God bless me so I can bless you. I can't pay you for what you're doing here. Amen? Amen. So this is just a token from the ministry. God bless you. Let us, let us, <laughs> let I also want to mention, we're also celebrating birthday for Sister Lisa. She's not here, but I know she's listening. And also for Jaden. Amen. Happy birthday. I know you guys are online and you're listening. Will do. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. 
The Bible said to all honor is due. We have to give it. Amen. To all honor is due. We have we, we respect everyone. We don't um pick out anybody to when when you came, you came December and you you cry when you get your cake. And you say, Who is responsible for this? <laughs> and I know it was a nice cake. Amen. And God bless you. So people of God, you can stay back for cake. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. May your Monday be blessed. May your Tuesday be blessed. May your Wednesday Say it first, Sister Charita. Say it. <laughs> Amen. We need to teach Sheehan. We need to teach a son and we need to teach Sheehan so they can re recite it. Amen. Yeah, I like to hear from kids. I do. It's a blessing.